Bismillahir Today's my lecture is about the factors which affect the net rate of diffusion. The rate of diffusion is determined by the amount of substance available, the velocity of kinetic motions and the number and size of the opening in the membrane through which the molecules or ions can move. Diffusion rate is related to temperature, pressure, state of matter, size of concentration gradient and surface area of membrane. According to Fick's law of diffusion, the factors that affect the net rate of diffusion are concentration difference, cross-sectional area, distance between two regions and diffusion coefficient. Except according to Fick's law of diffusion, another factors that affect net rate of diffusion are temperature, charge of ion, pressure difference, permeability of cell membrane, solubility of substance, thickness of cell membrane, size of the molecules and ion. What is Fick's law of diffusion? According Fick's law of diffusion, the rate of diffusion at a particular temperature is equal to minus diffusion coefficient into surface area into concentration divided by distance between two regions. Here a minus sign indicates the direction of diffusion, where considering the movement of molecules from higher to lower concentration and the dividation results between concentration and distance is negative. So, multiplying by minus dA gives a positive value. Let's discuss. At first, concentration difference across a cell membrane. This figure shows a cell membrane with a higher concentration of a substance on outside and lower concentration on inside. So, the rate of diffusion is directly proportional to the concentration or electrical gradient on the diffusing substance across the cell membrane. However, facilitated diffusion has some limitation beyond certain level of concentration gradient. The rate at which substance diffuses inward is proportional to the concentration of molecule on the outside because this concentration determines how many molecules strike the outside of the membrane each second. Conversely, the rate at which molecules diffuse outward is proportional to their concentration inside the membrane. Therefore, the rate of net diffusion into cell is proportional to the concentration on the outside minus the concentration on the inside. That means net diffusion is proportional CO minus CI. Here CO is the concentration of outside and CI is the concentration inside. Secondly, cross-sectional area or surface area of a membrane. It is directly proportional to diffusion. The greater the area, the faster the rate of diffusion. Then distance between two regions. The rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to the distance between the two regions. The shorter the distance, the more quickly gradient are eliminated. At a given temperature, it takes longer for the particles to diffuse a further distance. Thus, the slower the rate of diffusion. Then diffusion coefficient which means it is the amount of a particular substance that diffuses across a unit area in one second under the influence of a gradient of one unit. The diffusion coefficient also known as diffusivity. It is usually expressed in units centimeter square per second. The role is the higher the level of diffusivity of a certain substance to another, the faster the diffusion rate by both of the substance. The diffusion coefficient is the physical constant that depends on the properties like size of the molecules, other factors like pressure, temperature. The diffusivity of one particular substance to another is typically determined through experimenting. 
than temperature. The rate of diffusion is directly proportional to the body temperature. Increased temperature, increased rate of diffusion. Because the higher the temperature, the more kinetic energy of particles will have. So, they will move and mix more quickly. Then, charge of ions. Rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to the charge of ions. Greater the charge of ion, lesser the rate of diffusion. For example, diffusion of calcium ion is slower than sodium ion. If an electrical potential is applied across the membrane, the electrical charge of the ion causes them to move through the membrane even though no concentration difference exists to cause movement. Effect of membrane electrical potential on diffusion of ion is called Nernst potential. Thus, in the left panel of this figure, concentration of negative ion is same on both sides of the membrane. But a positive charge has been applied to the right side of the membrane and a negative charge has been applied to the left, creating an electrical gradient across the membrane. The positive charge attracts the negative ion, whereas the negative charge repel them. Therefore, net diffusion occurs from left to right. Then effect of pressure difference. Pressure actually means the sum of all the forces of different molecules striking a unit surface area at a given instant. Therefore, having a higher pressure on one side of a membrane than on the other side means that the sum of all forces of the molecules striking the channel on that side of the membrane is greater than the, on the other side. In most instances, this situation is caused by greater number of molecules striking the membrane per second on one side than on the other side. The result is that increased amount of energy are available to cause net movement of molecule from higher pressure side to the lower pressure side. In this figure, a piston developing high pressure on one side of a pore, thereby causing more molecules to strike the pore on this side. Therefore, more molecules to diffuse to the other side. That means pressure difference to cause diffusions of molecules and ions through a membrane. Then permeability of cell membrane. The rate of diffusion is directly proportional to the permeability of cell membrane. The more permeable the separating surface is, the faster a substance can diffuse through it. Since the cell membrane is selectively permeable, only limited number of substance can diffuse through the membrane. Then solubility of substance. Diffusion rate is directly proportional to the solubility of substance particularly the lipid soluble substance. Since oxygen is highly soluble in lipid, it diffuses very rapidly through the lipid layer. Then thickness of cell membrane. Rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to the thickness of cell membrane. If the cell membrane is thick, diffusion of a substance is very slow. The thinner the external surface, the faster diffusion will occur. Then size of the molecules and ion. Generally, the rate of diffusion is inversely proportional to the size of the molecules and ion. Thus, at a given temperature, the substance with smaller molecules diffuse rapidly than the substance with larger molecules. Smaller ion can pass through the membrane more easily than larger ion with same charge. For instance, sodium ion are smaller in size than potassium ion, but still sodium ion cannot pass through the membrane as easily as potassium ion because sodium ion have got a tendency to gather water molecules around them. This makes it difficult for sodium ion to diffuse through the membrane. Another example is smaller molecules such as oxygen can diffuse quicker than larger molecules like proteins. 
lastly why diffusion is important to cell that means in human at first exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide in lungs and tissues then absorption of pantose minerals water soluble vitamins etc from gastrointestinal tract and admixture of food stuff with digestive juice also exchange of different substance in capillary bed secretion of waste product into renal tubule diffusion of sodium potassium through sodium potassium leak channel create arresting membrane potential it also help in nerve communication and also muscle cell contraction in medication time releasing capsules also work by this process in case of pneumonia it increase the thickness of alveolar membrane so diffusion of carbon dioxide is decrease so hypoxia develop this is some examples which occur in our body by diffusion thank you for your patience hearing Thank you.